Hi guys, got a real quick and easy one for all of you. I'm dying for a good check engine light problem and all that, but we're going to just do a real simple um, belt squealing diagnosis and find out whether the belt squeal is from a misaligned belt, a incorrect tension on the belt, or whether we've got like a bad pulley, bad water pump, that kind of thing. So a lot of those, they all sound the same. How do you know where the problem is and how to fix it. That's what we're going to talk about today. So uh, we'll give you a listen to this car. I want to warn you, you might want to turn your speakers down because this is going to be more annoying than listening to a liberal. Don't say I didn't warn you. So, um, most anybody might listen to that and go, oh man, you need a new water pump. But wouldn't you feel terrible if you went through all the time and especially the expense of a water pump and find that you have exactly the same problem? Of course, a lot of people are just going to go ahead and replace the belt and they'll still have the same problem. Again, the whole point of my videos is to prevent people who change the plugs and wires and then they go to something else and then they go to something else. Find what the problem is fix only what needs to be fixed and that's what we're going to do using this bottle of water and we're going to tell exactly what the problem is. Again, keep in mind your reasons for that noise are going to be a bad pulley or bearing or water pump or something like that, misaligned belt, incorrect belt tension. Those are the possibilities that would cause this issue so we're going to rule out and find what the problem is. Alright, so as you can see I've got the fan removed for clarity here and uh, just to orient, we've got alternator here, an idler pulley here, uh, also the tensioner, it's an automatic tensioner, idler pulley here, water pump pulley right here, crankshaft, power steering pump, and AC compressor. And AC compressor is up uh, out of the field of view. I couldn't get all of them and position the camera accordingly. So what I'm going to do is start the engine and using my spray bottle, I am going to just simply spray water at various areas. If the sound actually gets worse, then almost certainly this is a tensioning issue. If the sound gets better, it is almost certainly an alignment issue. And if there's no change or very minor change, then I'm going to really start looking at the pulleys. So let's see what happens. Now, sometimes you can get a little bit lucky, and that is that spraying only a certain pulley will actually cause the noise to go away. And if that's the case, you're pretty lucky because if spraying only that pulley causes the noise to go away, then you certainly found your location of misalignment. That wasn't the case here. Spraying pretty much anywhere along the belt quieted the noise down. But again, that does at least verify it is a belt problem. And in the case that the noise went away, a misalignment problem is the most likely cause of that. So just keep that in mind. And then another thing also that can cause that belt noise that I should have mentioned earlier is contamination on the belt if you've got like engine fluids or something like that on the belt that can also cause a slippage and a squeal so I should have mentioned that earlier. Anyway let's go ahead and uh, check the alignment on these pulleys now that we've got an alignment problem singled out. I've got the belt removed now so we can inspect the pulleys. One of the things also with the belt removed, I'm going to look at this belt and it looks to be in really good condition. What I usually look for are cracks all along all the ribs, uh, like a straight line of cracks. A few cracks here and there speckled around is not that big a deal, but anywhere where it's cracked straight across so that bending the belt back could clearly break the belt. That's more what I'm looking for on a belt. What I'm going to do is spin these pulleys, listen for any grinding noises or anything like that. Um, this uh, tensioner pulley down here is really, it spins very free. Let's see if we can show you that right here. So if it spins real free like that, that's not the cause of the noise, but it does tell me that it probably needs to be repacked with grease. Um, the other thing you can do is try to rock the pulleys, and these all seem pretty good, especially my water pump feels real good. 
So all of this looks pretty good to me. Of course, you're not going to be able to spin the crankshaft. So uh, again, because of the fact that the water made the sound stop, this does indicate to me a belt issue and not a pulley issue. But this is uh, just to show you how you would check your pulleys if there was a problem that the water didn't stop the belt noise. So what I'm going to do to test my pulley alignment is I'm going to look for any two pulleys that are really close together. And in this case, I've got my power steering pump pulley right here and the crankshaft uh, pulley is right there below it. And I'm going to take a straight edge and I'm going to lay it flat across my power steering pump pulley. And if we look, you can see, I don't know if you can see from this parallax here, but there is definitely a gap between the straight edge and the crankshaft pulley. So those need to be flush aligned. Now obviously it's a little more challenging to do something uh, like this with say the air conditioning pulley because it's got the clutch in the way. But on any pulleys where they should be lined up perfectly like this, this straight edge test is a real easy way to go ahead and validate that. So if I push this uh, power steering pump pulley back into place where it should be, then uh, that should stop the squealing. And for those of you, like me, who require the satisfaction of a fix, uh, you'll see on my power steering pump pulley, I've got my uh, power steering pulley press tool on there. And I'm going to go ahead and check my alignment with the straight edge. And let's see, and uh, this right here is the crankshaft pulley and we can see that I am now flush with that crankshaft pulley. So this should fix the squealing problem. Let's go ahead and see. All right, there we go. Got the belt back on and it is quiet as it should be. So all I need to do is replace the fan and that is a fix. So I hope you found this helpful.